Welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 177, Math Misconceptions. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the recovering traditionalist and buildmathminds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. Rosalba Serrano and I have been working on a series of short videos about math misconceptions elementary students have. I'm sharing the introduction video to the series here on today's podcast, but I'd like to invite you to go over to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash buildmathminds, to watch each of the misconceptions videos and share what misconceptions you've seen your students have on certain math topics. Each video is super short. Watch it to get an idea of what we're talking about when it comes to misconceptions versus mistakes and a common misconception from each of the math areas. So here is my introduction video. Hey there, Christina Tonnevold here, the recovering traditionalist and founder of Build Math Minds. Now, welcome to our misconceptions around mathematics series. This video is just an intro to give you kind of an overview of what to expect from this series and what we'd like from you guys. So in this series, you will see videos from myself. You will also see videos from Rosalba Serrano, who is a PD facilitator at Build Math Minds, but also runs Zend Math. Um, we decided to do these videos because we're familiar with some common misconceptions that kids have around certain math topics. But we're curious if there's some new things that you are seeing that kids are struggling with as they're starting to build their understanding of certain math topics. So in this series, we have different videos. They are short. We wanted to keep it short um, just to give you a sense of what we're looking for. And then the whole idea is for us to be communicating in the comments of wherever you see these videos. We're going to be putting them on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube probably even on the Build Math Minds podcast. So we really would like to just use these videos as a starting point to have discussions about what you're seeing kids struggling with and these misconceptions that they have. So if in these videos, you're going to hear us talk about the difference between mistakes and misconceptions. And if you're unsure whether what you're seeing is a mistake or a misconception, go ahead and put it in the comments and let's chat about it in there. Please don't be afraid to share the things that you are seeing that your kids are struggling with because I bet that other teachers are seeing the same thing and it will create this forum for us to have a discussion around what you're seeing and things that we could possibly do to help kiddos out around those. All right, I hope you enjoy this video series about math misconceptions. All right, my fellow recovering traditionalists, until next week, keep building math minds. And don't forget to put your comments in to join the discussion about the math misconceptions right underneath the videos.